Hi guys and welcome to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates and 87 today we are doing one which has been the most requested for the last couple of weeks which is the best possible Saudi Arabia team now it's going to feature some low rated players but some very good players it's a shame there's a gold player in there to ruin it because I reckon this team will be a very very solid silver team if you guys do build silver teams so if you do want any MSP PSN codes or cheap game codes make sure you check out g2a.com their link is down below in the description and if we can try and hit over 4,000 likes on the video guys that would be absolutely Absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, also, yeah, if you want any more best possibles done with club, nation, or league, let me know in the comment section below and I do pick the highest rated ones if I've not done them previously. So let's get on and build this team. In the goalkeeper position, when I find it, we have a silver goalkeeper, which is the highest rated goalkeeper on the uh, Saudi Arabia pool of players in the goalkeeper, is Al Enezi. Al Anezi. This is going to be a very butchering uh, video. I can tell you that for free with names. In the centre back position in the middle. Now there is a bit of a story about centre backs. There is actually a 69 rated centre back, but he is so rare it's unable to get him. I can't remember his name. A lot of people said he was removed from packs, um, but there is a few floating around, and he could be one of the rarest players in the game. But in the middle, we went with the slowest, which is our Hausawi, um, the 68 rated non rare 49 pace. Obviously, did put him in the middle. Next to him on the right hand side, we went with Al Mashadi. 62 pace and um, yeah that's it 82 physical quite strong though and to be fair I didn't really notice the fact that I was only playing with three centre backs with this team they felt good they did alright especially with this guy which is how Sawi as well um, he is pretty ridiculous 68 pace 79 uh, physical and 72 defending for a silver centre back he was controlling the games very very well but the team got a lot better as we moved up the field in the CM position on the left hand side we went with Al Jassim um, 74 pace 77 dribbling and feels very, very good. He's one of the highest rated players in the Saudi Polo players as well, being 74. Next to him, we have Atif. He is 71 pace, 73 dribbling, and 72 physical in the CM position. Nothing too special about him, I did notice. But with the wingers and the final five players I'm about to put in the team, these were really, really good. If you wanted to build a hybrid around them, I'd really recommend doing so. In the right midfield position, we have Al Dosari, 89 pace, 89 pace, 74 dribbling, 4 star skills, and 70 shooting. In the left midfield position, this guy I actually enjoyed using him in FIFA 14. It is Al, Sher Al Sherry. Uh, 85 pace, 4 star skills yet again, and 75 dribbling. He even looks, I don't know what, he just looks special on that guy. I don't know what it is about him. Um, but that is a very, very solid midfield. Uh, just the defence is lacking a little bit. The goalkeeper as well is absolutely horrendous, as I will explain in the highlights. In the camp position, we have Al, Al Shalhoub. Um, 68 pace, 73 dribbling. 4 star skills, I think. Yeah, I think he has four-star skills. Um, a very, very, very tidy cam player. Quite slow, but he, I used him how I used Totti. Whereas if the player is does have uh, a lack of pace, I decided just to dribble with him, pass around, and he uh, actually did all right, especially with the two strikers we had in the team. In the strikers just on the left-hand side, we went with Al Shamrani. Um, Al Shamrani, sorry, 86 pace, 71 physical. On 76 shooting. It's a shame that he's only got three star skill moves. He had four star, four star skill moves. He will be absolutely ridiculous. But next to him, you've got a choice of two players. There is Al Katani, um, who we're going to put there. 70 pace, 70 shooting, 71 physical, uh, 70, yeah, 71 passing, 73 dribbling, and also four star skills. There was a choice of another 72 rated striker, but I decided to put him in there instead. So in front of you guys is the best possible Saudi Arabia team available to you on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team currently. No team this season. No informs are quite a cheap team. All of the silvers are limited to 5,000 coins anyway. And Al Shamram is listed to 6,000 coins, I think it was. So uh, you can get them for about 1 or 2k each on each of the silver players. And I would really recommend building it with a silver silver players and uh, having a few games with a lot of these uh, players. As you can see, the, the green links are just flowing. And uh, it's worth it. I really enjoy playing with this team. So let's get into the highlights we did get with this squad. Now, I was quite dubious of playing with a team like this, usually because when I do best possibles with silvers and stuff, they can be quite frustrating. But quite early on in this game, we did take a nice 1 0 lead with a nice chip from, um, I don't even know who that was from. I get completely um, confused with these players' names. And uh, obviously, I think most people will as well, unless you're from Saudi Arabia yourself. But the standout players are definitely Al Shamrani. Uh, we actually packed him, and in the uh, five games we did play with the team, we got six goals, which wasn't that bad. 
and the striker next to him was a lot better. He actually got 10 goals for me and uh, 3 assists. The right midfielder, he, he is fun. 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, high attacking work rate. Um, with the left midfielder, he's 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot as well. And the cam um, with 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, left footed as well, which is quite a rare trait um, with finding that. Uh, with the um, with Alshon Marnie though, it's a shame he's only got 3 star skill moves like I said. And the attack and midfield with this team was ridiculous. The defence is a little bit of a letdown, apart from how Sowie, the left left side, won. Because there is actually two how Sowies in the team. One of them with 49 pace, who I wouldn't recommend going near. And one with the 68 pace, who I would recommend going near. But it's difficult to hybridise them up, unless you're going to, obviously... Um, use another defender or even the goalkeeper. Now the goalkeeper himself guys was absolutely horrendous, did not enjoy using him. Every shot which was took about him uh, went in and obviously I was coming up against goal teams as well so it did make it that little bit more difficult. But the team did alright on the attack and that's the main thing about it. As long as you can score more goals than your opponent scores, you're going to win the game and you're going to get highlights for the squad builders and that's exactly what we got. So guys if you have enjoyed it, drop a like rate and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and remember to let me know in the comment section below some uh, any more you want to see me do in the future. Until next time guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.